Welcome to The Shed. I'm Sid, Mackie's on the camera. And today we're gonna to be learning how to cut and install Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. I think they actually call it something else, but I'm rather fond of anthropomorphizing all the parts. For this task, you will need your new brakes, which comes with lever, caliper, as well as the olive and barb. If you are watching this video because you are cutting down brakes that are not new, you will need to get the olive and connector. They call it olive and connector, not olive and barb. We call it olive and barb. You will need this. Oil funnel kit, disc brake hose cut tool thing, brake cutting tool, paint pen, eight millimeter crescent wrench, pokey tool and Shimano hydraulic mineral oil. So why are you cutting up your brakes? Well, for starters, these brakes, the current XTR Shimano brakes do not come in a single piece because most bikes are internally routed now. So they come in two pieces, so you have to connect them. They also give you a generous amount of housing. I think this is the front. And I think that's the rear, but it's 1700. Still like a lot yeah. more than you need. So unless you want your brake cables to be like sticking three feet out and looking really messy, you will need to cut them down, which it's a hydraulic system. So it's not like the easiest thing ever. It's not like you just get a shorter cable or cut your housing, right? You have to do a thing, which is the thing that we're gonna do in this video. <laughs> Why else might you end up cutting down a cable? Well, if you get a bike that you don't like how much cable the people who built the bike put in there, like yeah. you have too much. It's not called a cable, Break. line. Yeah, if you don't like how much line is on the front of your bike, you might want to cut it down. Or if you need to replace a lever. So whether you're installing new brakes, swapping out a lever or a caliper or getting a new brake line, the process is essentially the same. You just need, if you're doing it, on your own, you need to get your own olive and barb. Because the but. brakes come ready to do this, but, except once we cut them, then we have that we still need another olive, right? The olive is inside the lever. Oh, in the lever, yeah. And the barb is inside the little package in the with the brakes. It's not in there, so that's good. First thing we're gonna do is attach the caliper, the caliper. Okay, so this is where you think, and it goes like that. And at this stage, you don't really worry about centering your brakes and stuff. You can do that later. And it feels kind of tight because there's Loctite on there. That's okay. Just pull it out. There it goes. Just took more force. Took more force than I thought it was going to. First thing is make sure that you're running up the inside of the fork. And that you're accounting for the fact that it's going to be attached there and that this is... Do you care about putting the grips on or do you, are you okay with just estimating it? Here, I can approximate. My hand will be here. Out a little bit, sorry, in a little bit, a little bit more. It's hard with your cast on. It's hard with my cast, it'll probably be like there. You wanna tighten the lever in its approximate place, hold the housing to where it will be approximately and then turn the bars so that. Which as Mackie pointed out, does not matter for the front one. Okay, step one, figure out your length. Step two, remove this wiggly wiggly thing on the end. So as you'll see, this has a barb on it. That's why it came in the bag with a second barb or plug. Yeah, so that's actually a plug and you're always gonna cut, like there's a mark here. Oh, okay. You always have to cut at least that amount off. We're threading this thingy widget yeah. on. Okay, then we're gonna cut another one of those tasks that's kind of annoying to do by yourself, but let's see if I can do it. Nice. So this is the Shimano brake cutter tool, brake cut tool. Eh. Don't know what it's called, but you do need one of these if you're gonna be installing brakes. So there's our yellow line. Line up the yellow line with that notch. This guy is gonna lock that there. And this one isn't an exact science on the cut. Like we have some leeway both directions. And so this is the cutter. Hello. Hello. There we go. Just try every which way till you get there. My motto. And then yeah, so the you are like cut you are literally cutting your brake line. So yeah. oil will come out. Oil. Not too much. 
Yeah, just don't like right start flinging that around and yeah. get oil in your eyes. Honestly, this is the hardest part for me is getting this cutter off. Okay, yeah. so there we go. We've got it. We've got a little bit of oil on there, but nothing, nothing to lose sleep about. And then barb. I think they actually call it something else, but I'm rather fond of anthropomorphizing all the parts. So we have barb and we have olive and the goal of the exercise is get, get them to play nice with one another. So first barb goes in and plugs the end of this line. That's Barb's job. So you line that up. And then this is the part where sometimes we don't have this tight enough and it doesn't work on the first go, but let's see. Yep. I just tighten that like a quarter turn, yeah. <laughs> okay, well that's That might be now. too much. <laughs> you may have to loosen a little because otherwise it can crush the... Uh... Yeah, you don't want to crush things. Okay, that's pretty darn tight. So that was just that screw on the bottom if you are pushing your thing through. Boom. Let me show us what it looks like there so you can it's see it's flush. all the way flush, yeah. Gonna pop this guy off, but you hold it upright. That is crucial. Yeah, that is the oil, oil plug. When in doubt, hold things so that <laughs> stuff doesn't fall out of them. Okay, all right, so olive is in there. Yeah, so olive is already installed. Basically, the olive is like a gold. Well, let's grab one and do what we would do if there weren't one in there right now. These are brand new brakes, so there is one. If this were not a brand new brake, this would not be attached. We would have unscrewed this. Oh, right. We would sure. put that on first, then we would put a gold thing that's set inside that, and then we would flip it in and screw it down. But because this is brand new brakes, they just have this partially installed for you with an olive in there. You just stick this and stick it down. Okay, you got me a wrench. And now we're just gonna use crescent wrench. And the goal is to keep that down as much as, like pushed in there as much as possible. Usually we, this is something we do together. Yeah. Like somebody pushes. And you want this tight, but you don't want to over tight. Like that's pretty good, I'd say. Yeah. You want it tight, but if you over tighten it, you risk cracking it. Which yeah, which you do not, not want to do. Beautiful. There she is. All right, one breakdown. I don't know if you guys have cats, but these cats really like aggressive petting. Oh yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> oh yes. More, more. <laughs> more. So this bike is external, externally routed for the brake lines, internally for the cables. There are little easy. mounts here, here, running up the frame makes it real easy to attach this rear brake. If it were internally routed, what would we do differently? Well, nothing right here. I would still do exactly this, exactly the way I'm doing it. Would you? You wouldn't. No, you'd run the cable first because otherwise you wouldn't be able to get it into its hole probably. Yeah, if it's internally routed, there's usually a like a port oh, that it goes right, in like here. In, like, right there. Yeah, so you'd run the cable yeah. into that port first, run it all the way along the frame, out whatever port it came out, and then you would attach the caliper. Oh uh, yeah, this thing is a dream. I love this thing so much. I guess we might as well go ahead and zip tie this guy because that'll just save us a lot of like estimating. There are some benefits to external routing, I would say. Oh, it's definitely um, easy. Internal definitely looks nicer, but. You look cute in that hat. What? You look cute in that hat. Oh, thanks. All right, you want to put your hand on here and give me a rough estimate compared to the other. Yeah, we could slide it out a little bit just to give it some extra. We need to test this, like this is gonna be way too tight. Yeah. Not bueno. So, how about, this is gonna be like way too much stuff. Like you don't want that over yeah, here. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, you could do a little tighter than that. I agree. Yeah, that's probably about right. And one thing is when you're marking it, give it an extra centimeter or so, because it actually goes into the lever more than you think it does. Oh, Barb almost got taken out by the screwdriver. It's a dangerous life. And again, let you toss that. I don't know if I have the space here to compress this enough, but I'm just gonna try and we'll see. There she goes. Perfect. So go through the checklist. Barb is in there. We have the rubber thing on. Yep. If this were not attached, we would put that on. Then we would put olive on. 
and our barb is in there. I'm gonna tighten her down. All right, the last thing we're gonna do is do a lever bleed on both of these. Pretty much always have to top up your fluid when you cut it, no matter how careful you are. We have a whole video about how to do lever bleeds. This is a very good skill to learn, even if you don't wanna do full break bleeds. Um, we'll put a link to that right up there. And this is how to cut and install hydraulic Shimano brakes in one minute. First, install your caliper. If this is an internally routed rear brake, make sure to run the line through the frame before installing the caliper. Now install the lever in its appropriate location. Measure the brake line so that it reaches the lever and there's enough space for the bars to swing freely. Slide the rubber cover onto the line. Now cut the brake line and install the barb. If this is a used set of brakes, slide the compression nut and olive. If these are new brakes, those are already attached to the lever. Place the end of the brake line into the lever and tighten the compression nut. Now slide the rubber cover into place, connect the lever to the bars, place a shim between the brake pads, and do a lever bleed.